everyone, this is Doug with B&H. Today we're going to talk about advanced live streaming setups. Now that's as opposed to a basic live stream setup which we've covered in an earlier video. An advanced setup allows for things such as multiple cameras, live switching, audio mixing, and a much more robust encoding solution. This all adds up into a versatile switching setup that's much more akin to a broadcast multi-camera setup. Now as you can see, the B&H crew is here to help, and they're going to show us how it's done. Now right from the start we know that this is going to be a multi-camera setup, so that means we can basically use any kind of professional camera, but in this case we're going to use the PTZ Optic Gen 2 cameras, and that's because we can remotely control the zoom, iris, focus, panning, and tilting all from a control panel. And this allows us to get the job done with a much smaller crew. Now, you can actually stream directly out of the PTZ Optic cameras using the Ethernet port on the back in either H.264 or H.265, but because we want to switch the cameras, we need to get the clean feed from the HDMI ports. Each camera is controlled through a serial connection on the back, which can be daisy-chained from camera to camera, eventually leading back to the control panel. Now for audio, we're using our usual Sennheiser AVX wireless lav mic systems, but really any professional XLR microphone will work here. All you need to do is plug the microphone into an audio mixer, though in this case, we're using the Zoom F8 field recorder in order to get a backup copy. That can be plugged right into the switcher, which then passes the signal along. It should be noted that you absolutely need to monitor your audio in cases like this where you have two microphones. Here comes the complicated part. For the actual streaming and switching, we're using a combination of the Roland V1 HD HDMI switcher and the Matrox Monarch HD H.264 encoder. Both of the video signals from each camera and the audio from the mixer plug into the switcher, which then routes out via HDMI to the Matrox encoder. Now, while this setup is simple enough that we can have one operator on every piece of gear, I highly recommend that you have separate operators on everything in the signal chain. The actual streams themselves are configured through a web interface, accessible through a web browser, on the Matrox encoder. It supports RTMP addresses for any service that supports RTMP input, so this is great for custom streaming solutions. So with multiple cameras, live switching, audio mixing, and much more robust encoding options, this is what you need to get an advanced live stream started. From B&H, my name is Doug, thanks for watching.